What's up, YouTube? It's Lil T with Techaholics, and today I'm going to show y'all my top emulators that I like to use. All right, let's get for the first one. It's called Raycast. I already did a video on this one. I mean, I didn't show y'all how to, like, install the games or not, but um, let's go ahead and get into that one real quick before I show y'all this emulator. So what you want to do is you want to go to the... Um, the browser and you want to download I mean you want to download you want to go to ROM hold on yeah ROM Hustler or Paradise I mean Emulator Paradise And download the ROMs for the Dreamcast. Once, whenever you download the ROMs for that, you'll want to go into your 7-zip. If you don't have this, download it. It's on the um, market. Both these apps are. Um, you want to go into 7-zip. Go to where your download is. And extract it. Whenever you extract it, you'll have something that looks like this and you'll see like this SA dot part zero one you'll want to click on that again and it'll turn it into CDI for your game to read it so once whenever you're done with that come back in here you know like my other video says you know you go to your path you don't even have to touch that once you download the the data packet from my other video and then you just find out where your game is, go into here, and you start playing it. Controls are on screen. Um, the only thing about this emulator is that you don't get the option to use a Bluetooth controller. The other ones that I like to use that uses the Bluetooth controller are the Nintendo DS for Droid, the um, and the PSP. Let's get into the PSP. Pretty much the same concept with the PSP. You would go, you would download your emulator from either Emulator Paradise or um, ROM Hustler. And once you extract the file, you just go into the folder where it's at, and you go into the game. Here's Burnout. Let's go back. Let's go right here. Here's Grand Theft Auto. And yes, you can use this with an external Bluetooth um, controller. And the way that you would do that is you would just go into the settings, go into controls, and go to controller mapping. And you push, you know, whichever one that you want it to be to, you know, move around. And, you know, you just do that with it. And same concept for the Nintendo DS emulator. You know, except for this one, you don't have to extract the file that you're going to download. All you do is just, um, just download the file that you need the game and then whenever you get it downloaded you just go and play it like I got the sims right here and you know controller mapping is the same way you just go into the settings and you map out your controller the way that you would want it to be and then you could play like a full DS game without the use of the screen being in the way and it'll cut it off at like halfway so you'll be able to see everything perfectly And once you have that done, and you know, then you can play the game. But my last and final 
emulator that I like very, very much specifically because this one has the extractor built inside the app. It has more than one plugin that you can download. It has so many different things for this. You know, I can be able to play Super Nintendo on this one, and it's just all in one app. Get N64, PlayStation 1, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, NES, Sega, CD, Genesis, Master. It's just all in one app, and this is just an amazing app. Shout out to whoever made this app. This app is bomb. And um, I have Spyro already downloaded on it, and I had it where I was playing it for my um with my i'm sorry my controller so that's why you don't see the contro controllers on the thing is because it's pretty much the same concept you just go into the settings you just do the controller mapping and um you know you just do you just do what you need to for the controller see i got it right here up down you know left right whatever way that you want it to be i would suggest that when you're playing this game you do make it to where spyro's camera and the game settings itself is automatic because the controller might not work as fast or might not work for that right but it's always going to be on point like if you turn one way the camera will follow with you like right after you turn and um i got a couple nc n64 games I got Legends of Zelda, and yeah, it's really cool. So, those are my top emulators, which I do not know what just happened, but y'all seen that. My phone just glitched out. But anyways, my top emulators. Remember, Classic Boy is the top one. I would rate that one the best. Um, my next one would probably be the PSP. In the DS one, I mean, I really don't play DS games, but this one is just for show, just to show y'all that these are good emulators, and, um, yeah, if you have any questions, any help trying to download a uh, ROM or anything like that, just let me know, I'll, I'll get back with you as soon as I can, and like always, thanks for watching, like and subscribe.